Hi everyone, it's Sandy here again. I've got a, a project here that I made the other day and it's a, another fun, quick and simple project to make and it's a loaded pocket flip book. So this is um, a flip book that measures 4 inches by 6 inches. It's still nice and flat so it's still uh, perfect for you to post in the mail without too much bulk. Um, so it's uh, a perfect uh, project to make if you wanted to make a last minute happy mail or a last minute flip book um, project. So um, again it's very quick and I'm going to show you how you could um, create one of these as well. So I'll just show you uh, the loaded pocket flip book and then we'll do the um, tutorial. Um, so this here is a gorgeous embellishment that was gifted to me by um, Crafting with Molly. She's on Instagram. I hosted an embellishment swap on Instagram and I invited a few ladies if they wanted to join in my swap and Crafting with Molly was kind enough to uh, want to join in and this is what she made for me and I thought that would be perfect in front of the flip book. Um, the actual flip book itself it's quite basic I didn't put too much in it um, so when you open it up I've just made this as a uh, layout I use a hot balloon die that I've got. Uh, this is just a, a journaling card or a project life card that I've got in my stash and I just put that there. Um, I added some washi here just to decorate the, uh, the fold and here is a little tuck spot and you can, well I've put in here some die cuts um, and you can put in a letter in here, some tags or other goodies in that spot there and then you open it up to the next page and then I've just added a packaged um, word sentiments uh, in on this side of the page. This side here I've just embellished that with um, <clears throat> another journaling card and this was also gifted to me by Crafting with Molly. Uh, so that was perfect to place on that side of the page. I need to put some glue. Some of these washi tapes don't stick very well but um, that's okay. Uh, so up here is the loaded pocket. So um, it does draw a few things in here. I'll show you what I've put in there. I've put in some uh, gift bags, uh, like a coin, uh, envelope coin shape uh, gift bags. And then I've also put in there some, some tag dies and uh, some mason jar uh, dies that I, I've used my die, metal die. <laughs> And then I've added some um, packaging uh, in this uh, bag top of packaged um, uh, packaging. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm saying, but you know what I'm trying to say. So I've added some packaging supplies in my packaged pack. <laughs> okay, so I'll just show you what I've got in there. Um, these are just some of these, some clear packaging. Um, some more in here. These are some nice snowflake uh, printed uh, clear ones. Some more clear ones. I've added some uh, stamp, uh, not stamp, sorry, uh, thank you stickers, uh, some handmade uh, stickers, and this is a, a, a really pretty thank you gift packaging seal bag as well, and a nice cute little um, gift, plastic gift bag as well. So they're the packaging that goes in this packaging. So I'm just going to now show you how you can make one of these as well. I'll um, put these in. I'll fix that up later. I'll just put that to the side. <clears throat> I'll put these inside. So what you need is, you just need one piece of paper, double-sided paper or just some cardstock. You need to cut your paper at... Um, 8 inches by 12 inches, so um, 8 inches and 12 inches. And once you've cut your paper, all we need to do next is we're just going to fold it in half like that and press down on your fold line uh, quite well, open that up and then on the other side we're going to fold that in half as well and press that along there, <coughs> oh, put that here. Okay, then once you've done that, you just open it up, and then what you want to do here is, 
you just want to decide which uh, if it's a double sided paper which one you want facing the front so I want this part here to be facing the front so we'll have that facing down and then we'll just grab your scissors and we're going to cut along the left um, uh, the score line on the left hand side there just up to the um, center point there so we'll just go ahead and we'll cut that just to the center like that so then you'll have your um, two flaps on the left hand side and then we are just going to grab some glue or double sided tape if you like and we're just going to apply some glue just to the inside of that score line and on the edge of this side here so we'll do that so we'll just apply some glue again I do always like to use a liquid glue when I'm making pockets instead of the double sided tape so I'll just apply some glue there and on this side here up to the uh, top score line there and we just need to bring this whole um, bottom page up and we'll just press down where we've glued along the side there and just along there just like that and that should create your pocket on the top here and then you'll have these flaps here. Now the, you've got two options with this flip book. You can have it like I have here where I've got it opened up like this. And if that's what you want, you are going to bring this one over and just fold it over that way. And then bring this one over and fold that one on top of it. Just like that. Now, or the other way is, um, we'll open it back up that way again. Um, you can have this part here as your front and this one will go at the back so then what you will have here is you'll have that as your front page then you'll have your pocket up the top here and then you turn that over and then you'll have your last page there and then your book closes up that way so that's just another way to do it but um, I'll show you uh, this way here so what we do here is, so you have that flap and that flap. So this is this one here, and then we are going to make a little tuck pocket like that one. So this one here, we are just going to just fold it in. Um, I probably fold it in just um, off center a little bit. Uh, it's up to you how wide you want your uh, little tuck spot pocket there, but um, I'll just have it there. So then you've got that little bit and then we'll just put some glue just along there and at the top and that will create your um, little tuck spot so I'll just apply some glue here to the bottom just um, up to that fold line where we've just made the fold and also just here just like that and then just close that up and um, press down and there you have your loaded pocket or it will be a loaded pocket um, a flip book so how easy was that quick and easy and then you just got to embellish it add all your goodies in there and um, it's ready to go so this is your front page which is that one and then that's your little tuck spot in here which is that one there and this here I've just added like a little tab just like one of these ones and I've just sort of uh, placed that along there just to decorate the um, edge there and then you just turn that over and then you'll get that page here and then you'll have your pocket up the top here and I'll just grab one of those and you'll goodies go in there and that is it so I hope you uh, create one of these 
Um, again, this was actually a very fun project. I actually like making this uh, load of flip books, so I think I'll be going to be making a few more of these ones. So thank you for watching, and I do hope you enjoy this video. Um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and um, hopefully I will see you in my next video again. Thank you for watching, everyone. Bye for now.